Awesome, awesome. I feel like a little kid in these big chairs. I know. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to sink into oblivion in these chairs. I know. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Go, girl. Okay. Well, uh, hey, welcome back to uh, Retired Life. And this is us living Retired Life. Uh, we are in Isla Mujeres. We've been here almost two weeks now. This is our last full day, so we thought we'd grab a video in today and um, tell you our top three tips for Isla Mujeres. Now, I know you watch a lot of videos and, and everybody always has, you know, the top tips and, and whenever you're looking at a topical location, everybody always tells you, make sure you take a hat, make sure you take sunscreen, your snorkel gear. Those are kind of, I don't know, every day to everywhere topical. And yeah. you absolutely should do all those things. Um, and make sure you take reef friendly sunscreen so you don't kill our oceans. Um, and lots of water, obviously. Right. Water, water everywhere. Because you can't drink the water here. You have to get it in a bottle. Yeah. Our resort, actually, the ice machines are filtered water, but the water in the rooms is not filtered. So don't so drink just the water. Be, yeah, just to be on the safe side, normally I drink beer. Mm. <laughs> and I like tequilas so, or, or rum. This is rum. So. Yeah, that we're drinking rum tonight. <laughs> so I got to switch it up every now and then. Um, so for our top three tips, though, something that you may not think of when you're going to like a just a tropical location in general somewhere. For Isla Mujeres, um, I'm going to say my number three tip would be to make sure that you know at least a couple of key phrases of things that you might need while you're here because they don't speak a lot of English here. Um, there's enough to get by um, and even if you don't know what they're saying they nod their head and say mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and you do the same so um, <laughs> but like when you go to the grocery store you know they'll like gesture at you to uh, you know put your card in the machine. Um, so you can get by but you know if there's something that you think that you might really need like if you're the kind of person who needs a bathroom fairly frequently you might want to learn the word baños um but you know other than that um nachos tacos tequila they know all those oh, so yeah. so but you know if you have like a like a certain medication that you need and you think you might need it while you're in the pharmacy here you know learn what that word is and in Spanish so that you can get by because they really don't speak a lot of English here. No. Uh, we've traveled quite a few places and I have to say this is the first place where English is not widely spoken. Um, usually when we go to like grocery stores or restaurants or things like that, they know English and they, I mean, at least enough to have a conversation with you and here they really don't. Yeah. So, if you go up and say Burrito Supreme, <laughs> probably not a good one to know. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. But they, they do get by really well. If you go in to a restaurant and tell them you just want drinks, they know the word drinks. Obviously, they're going to try and get you to eat while you're there, too, because they need to make money. So, but it's definitely... Uh, it's a good idea to know some of them, and sign language is pretty much, you know, the same everywhere. If you get that one finger, it means pretty much the same, right? We haven't gotten any of those over here. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I'm glad. Hola. Hola. Uh, hello. So this is a... Uh, pretty hopping place here. They, there's people coming and going every day and you know, I'm pretty sure nobody's been here for two weeks like us. So I haven't seen anybody else who's been here and the people who more than a week we've met that have already left, they weren't here for two weeks. No. So all right, back to our tips. Was there a squirrel? 
There was. It was people walking by with suitcases. So. I was going to say, I thought I saw them. Yeah. <laughs> so number two tip. What was number two tip? Golf cart. Golf cart. Yes. Get yourself a golf cart at least one day while you're here. They're so much fun. You just buzz around the island, and the island's only, I don't know, maybe five miles long and about yeah. uh, half a mile wide. It's pretty small, so you can really buzz around the island and see pretty much everything within a couple of hours. But yes. um, I would say at least one day. We had one for five days, and I think the last day we really didn't use it a whole lot. But it's super handy, especially if you're staying in a condo like we are, to go to the grocery store um, right. and you know not have to carry those groceries home. And um, if it's really or hot. the alcohol. Yeah, and the alcohol, yeah. <laughs> I think it's heavy. Good thing we had a trunk on ours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we didn't. We had a rear seat. But anyway, so it's like if it's if you're here when it's really, really hot, it's almost too hot to even go to the pool here. It's just hot and muggy. So you get on the golf cart and our first week and a half, there was no wind. You get on the golf cart that creates the wind that also cools you down. And then you go and stop at a bar somewhere that's they're all outdoor here for the most part. Yeah, pretty much. And they've got fans, and which ours isn't going. We have a fan right above us here. But so that's a golf cart does more than just one thing. You can get taxis, and from the ferry port to where we are is like really it's only a five minute taxi ride. It was 10 bucks. Um, which a lot of people are like, wow, 10 bucks, you know, and it's like, okay, but then they got to turn around and go back up there again. But and it's funny because it's 10 bucks in American and only 100 pesos. So so if you have pesos on you, it's, <laughs> yeah. only, it's only six bucks. But <laughs> if you're paying in an American, they're getting, it, I think $10 is just like, it's a, uh, just an their easy, favorite phrase to them, yeah, $10, $10. $10. So I figured the other four dollars is their tip, is how we do it. So, um, but yeah, so there's there's also a hop on and hop off bus, and I believe we haven't done it on this trip, but we've done it in Cancun before, and pretty much you can see the bus coming. You just flag them down. They'll pull over and take your dollar per person, and then you just pull a little string, and they'll stop when they hear it. And you get off, and the next time you want to get on, it's another dollar. Now, they do have day passes if you're planning on doing a whole bunch of bus hopping. There, in my opinion, there's not enough here to really get on and off to, that would make the day pass worth it. Because, um, I mean, it might be if you just want to do like a bunch of bar hopping, that would, that would work. But other than that, I think just the dollar per per trip, that would be my recommendation. But obviously, you know, everybody travels differently. So do it how you want to do it. But, but with the um, golf cart, you can go out. So Punta Sur is out at the end of the road. And if you were going to take a taxi, it would be probably $10 to get out there. And then you would have to flag down another uh, taxi or, you know, wait for one or whatever. And it would be another $10 back. Um, and you can certainly do that, but the golf carts are just fun. You can just buzz around in them, and um, you can stop at different bars along the way and, you know, not have to worry about getting on and off the bus. And you have your own transportation. You can come and go as you want. They have headlights and taillights on them, so you can go out after dark. Um, and did I mention they're fun? No, they're, they're fun. They're really fun to drive. So, but um, speed bumps. Oh, speed. Yeah, watch out for the they're speed They're very bumps. serious about their speed bumps here. <laughs> And if, if you're in a golf cart, especially the POS that we had, a um, little mm -hmm. smaller tires, a little smaller cart, no suspension whatsoever because, hey, they're made for a golf course. They don't have speed bumps on golf courses. <laughs> but, and ours uh, was really doggy, but Yeah, ours it's was still terrible. Fun. It, it is fun. Go, go for the bigger golf carts if you can. Tell them you don't want a small cart. You want a bigger cart. We actually tried to return ours, and the guy was very rude and said no. And oh, that was the end of it. And that's another thing. If you're going to come here and you're going to get a golf cart, it's really a good idea to just reserve one in advance. Definitely. We're here in shoulder season, so it's not even high season. 
and I still saw people get turned away um, who were looking to rent a golf cart. They didn't have any available. So well, most most of them are right there where the port is, you know, when you yeah, come you across. Come the ferry. Yeah, so they're coming over and just renting it for the day. Well, if you're not one of the first ones up there, you're not getting one. And that's just the way that we saw a mother with her uh, young daughters with her, and uh, she tried to get one, and they said, no, we're sold out. No reservation, no cart. But that's not the only one on the island. There's plenty yeah, plenty of places to rent golf carts. but Not Prisma, though. They don't work <clears throat> with you. It's not a bad idea to, to reserve one in advance, especially if you're just, well, no matter what. But if you're yeah. just coming over for the day, they're, they're really fun just to rent for a couple of hours and go see the island. And they're about, they're about $65 a day, and that's in shoulder season. And then in high season, they, they charge us a little bit more. They don't give you much of a break in shoulder season. No. Because they're still renting them all out, so they don't need to give you a break. And like but, Fred has said, we only we only did it for five days, so that was three hundred plus. I'm not gonna try and do the math this late in the day. But <laughs> forever. <laughs> or ever, yeah. <laughs> when you're retired, you don't have to do math. You just lay the credit card down and they do the math for you. But we actually we're just a bit above halfway. I guess above middle of the island. So we're a little bit to the north. Yeah. But we left here and went to the south end of the island and, and did a tour down there where the statues are. And then we got back in the buggy and headed to the north. And we stopped here and there and then went up to Playa Norte. And we stayed there for quite a while. That's where when the eclipse was happening, um, we were on the beach there. And then we got back in the golf cart and we came back to our room here and we were only gone maybe three to four hours. So it is so easy. I mean, probably two hours. You could really go and see everything you wanted in a golf cart. Now yeah. there, there's a lot of, we're like on the main north south road here. There's also one over on the east side of the island. That's a main north south road too, but. In between them, there's lots of cool streets to drive up and down. And I tell you, they got little restaurants here and there. And yes, it does pertain to a golf cart. You can go and see all this stuff and just stop when you want to. And I mean, they're, they're everywhere around here. And how they make a living doing this, I don't know. And the restaurants and stuff. But they're doing it. Did we okay. digress? Us? Come on yeah. now. Well, you know, we are getting a little <laughs> older. The mind slips now and then. <laughs> kind of like the chain on your bicycle when you were younger. <laughs> it slips every now and then, too. <laughs> Where your head goes sometimes really amazes me. Mostly in my glass. <laughs> All right. So that brings us to the number one tip. This one honestly surprised the heck out of me. Um, I, like I said, we traveled, we have traveled quite a bit, mm -hmm. you know, for a lot of different places and I have never run across a place where I needed cash so much. Um, there are actually not a lot of places around here that take credit cards. Um, the grocery store does, uh, we just went to a pharmacy, they did there. Um, some of the uh, like the little stores do, some of the restaurants do, but most of them, and, and they have signs right out front, cash only, cash yeah. only, cash only. And we absolutely did not bring enough cash. And, um, and my strong suggestion is to change it to pesos before you get here. Um, yeah. I was just going to get some at the, uh, at the ATM at the airport. Because that's what I usually do. I just stop at the airport, ATM. I pull out some cash in the local currency. Um, it's no big deal. But we had trouble getting off the plane. We were delayed getting off the plane. And then getting through customs took longer than I expected. And we had a shuttle waiting for us. And I was afraid we were going to miss it. So I didn't stop at the ATM in the 
airport. And I thought, well, I'll just, you know, you can usually just go to a, a bank or grocery store or whatever and, and get cash that way too out of an ATM. Um, but the ones here, uh, they, they wanted to charge like a, I think it was a $15 fee um, to take money out of the ATM. So I decided to just use American. But the problem with when you use American, they pretty much decide what the what exchange rate they want to use. So right now it's about, I think it's 16 to 1 is like if you went to a bank and exchanged it, it would be 16 to 1. Yeah. Well, if you go into a, um, you know, into a restaurant and you go to pay an American, the exchange rate is not always what it should be, and you end up overpaying. Yeah. And things are not cheap here, by the way, either. I mean, I would I would feel better about that if things here were actually cheap, but I think they're actually more expensive here than they are at home. Yes, um, I believe so. You know, uh, a drink in a bar is going to run you anywhere between 10 and 15 bucks closer to 15 most times yeah um and there's there's nothing special about them that's for sure there it's just a drink so that would be my number one tip bring lots of cash and change it to pesos before you get here yeah definitely but i mean we've had a good time I, none of these things are anything that would keep me from coming here again. We enjoyed ourselves. But if you plan on coming here, it's a really small, kind of quiet island up on the on the touristy end where the where the ferry actually comes in. Uh, there's that gets really busy up there up by Playa Norte. Um, Lots of shopping and restaurants up there and. Just people all over. And and it's a populated little island, but our resort here, it's so quiet. It's amazing. So we've had a lot of downtime, a lot of relaxing time. Um, yep. And I might come again. I don't know. I could for the uh, just the peace and quiet here. Yeah. Uh, they're not, not all resorts are going to be like that. This place is around 35 rooms. I've, the best is I can count. And so it doesn't, it's not a big place. The pool has never had more than a dozen people in it that I've seen. No, it's always been really quiet. And it's quiet. a big pool, and it, there's a swim-up bar here. Duh. <laughs> 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 so, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice place, but there are a lot of other nice places here. I mean, there's, there's good eateries, and there, there's some that are only so-so that everybody thinks are good. So, and there's some all inclusives on the island too. So if you know if that's what yeah. if that's the route you like to go, you can absolutely find those here. We didn't get to go see any of them because they all had guards at the gate, and they're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. No entrado. <laughs> entrada. I don't know what it is. I think that's it. Entrada. Stay anyway. Out. Anyway, yeah. that's our three tips for coming to Isla Mujeres. And if you want more, then go to another channel and watch because everybody's got their own best tips. So we didn't we didn't go down that rabbit hole and tell you stuff that you can find anywhere else. This is just what we would recommend, and you know, from personal experience. So not mistakes, experience. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, see you next time. Have a great day. And remember, when you're retired, it's always 5 o'clock. Cheers. You or me? I got it. One of us has to get up because we don't <laughs> have a remote.